So if any of you guys have played War Tycoon recently, you might have noticed that they added the A-10 Warthog. And lots of people are saying that this is their favorite plane in the game, or it's the best plane in the game. And today, I'm putting that to the test by comparing it to its only competitor, the F-14 Tomcat. This thing, before the A-10 came out, was definitely by far the best plane in the game. Not even close. But now that the A-10 is out, it's time to do a comparison between them. All right, so the first thing we're going to be going over is probably one of the most important things planes have in War Tycoon, and that is the speed. Hopefully, this isn't surprising to you on why speed is one of the most important things in planes because, well, if you're trying to get across the map, speed matters because you're not trying to spend a whole bunch of time getting from point A to point B. But not only that, say you're getting absolutely raided, it's very important to be able to leave as fast as possible. So as you can see, I'm in the A-10 right now. As you can see, the top speed on this thing is clearly 271. I'm not sure what the units are. I'm assuming miles per hour. But even though it's still pretty fast, it's literally nowhere near the F-14. The F-14 completely annihilates the A-10 Warthog when it comes to speed. And as you can see, we've all, yeah, it hits 311, which is so much faster than the A-10 Warthog. So that's going to be a point to the F-14. But anyways, on to the second thing I'm going to be going over in today's video. This is also probably one of the most important things with planes in War Tycoon. And I'm talking about air-to-air -air combat. And so this is pretty much how good your plane is at taking out other planes or helicopters. And well, honestly, the F-14, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of annihilates here. Because as you can see, it comes with four lock-on missiles, a machine gun, and because it can go 311, 312 miles per hour, you can catch up to any helicopter so fast that pretty much nothing stands in your way. Like as you can see, we got this guy, he's over here. Yeah, we caught up to him like nothing, launched off our four rockets, which in case you're wondering, yeah, four rockets can take out pretty much every vehicle in the game. And if you're out of rockets, don't worry, because obviously the machine gun, although it's very difficult to aim, can also absolutely annihilate. It does insane damage, which makes up for its bad aim. But anyways, enough talking about the F-14, time to move on to the A-10 Warthog. All right, so we're in the A-10 Warthog, and as you can see, we have the same insanely fast shooting machine gun. I'm not sure if there's a difference between them, but if there is, it's a very slight, very small difference because as far as I know, they both completely annihilate air vehicles. The main difference you might be wondering if you have a keen eye is if you look down at our rockets, this plane only comes with two rockets which is actually really, really horrible. Two rockets cannot take out an air vehicle. You're just gonna be stuck. You might lower them down to half health, but honestly, you won't be able to take out an air vehicle with just lock-on rockets, which means you have to rely on what is probably a ve pretty unreliable way to aim, which is the machine guns. So as you can see, there's this guy in the helicopter. Ooh, it would be nice if I could go a bit faster here. The speed is definitely an issue in this plane when in air-to-air -air combat. I, I don't even know how this dude is going that fast. Like, straight up, I am supposed to be going a lot faster than any helicopter, and yet I'm not. Yeah, as you can see, that was all my rockets, and I could not even take them out. As you can see, we got him, but that was very close. We only had 21 HP, and honestly, if we were going up against someone who is actually good at flying a helicopter, that would be pretty close, and we might have even lost that. But anyways, as you can tell, because the lack of speed, as well as the lack of missiles, I think this is going to be another win for the F-14. In total, the F-14, it has two points, not looking good for the A-10, but we're on to what is probably the A-10's probably best thing, and that is the rating speed. So pretty much, this is how fast your plane can annihilate a shield. Keep in mind, this is the Game Pass shield, so keep in mind that if you're not going up against someone who's lucky like me and got the shield in the daily spin, it's going to take about half the time. But anyways, hopping in the F-14. Alright, so anyways, got the F-14 out, and time to start. Alright, so I don't have a perfect measurement yet, but I'm pretty sure that was around 30 seconds to take out my double health shield. Not bad. I'm not sure how the A-10 will do. 
All right, so anyways, we got the A10 Warthog now, and one thing to keep in mind is that we won't be able to camp on the ground like we did in the F14, because obviously, to drop the bombs, we have to be flying. So anyways, it might be a little bit harder to raid someone's base, but anyways, enough talking, let's get started. All right, so I'm done and honestly, I mean it was close, but that was definitely seeming faster I think that if anything that was probably closer to around 20 or 25 seconds But anyways, I'll definitely give that a point to the a10 warthog that definitely seemed noticeably faster than the f14 But anyways, it's time to move on to the final comparison and that is air to ground so pretty much that is how well can your plane take out anything on the ground all right so we're back in the f14 looks like we got someone in the chat we convinced him to 1v1 me he's in the mouse i'm in the f14 i accidentally equipped a skin to my f14 that's why it looks so garbage and anyways i'm gonna try and take him out main issue is that this guy is so difficult to take out because he has so much health Although, as you can tell, the lock-on missiles help a lot because I could just quickly lock on and then just just fly away. It helps a lot because aim you don't have to worry about aiming or anything. You just have to aim in the general vicinity. And as you can see, we're already taking him out pretty fast. He is kind of taking my health down. Maybe I can get him here. All right, let me see if I can get him. And yeah, we took out that tank relatively easy. Looks like someone was doing something down there. I'm not entirely sure who that is, but there's one way to easily solve that, and that's with a few missiles. Yep, and we got this guy. Nice and easy. And honestly, I mean, that shows how crazy the F-14 is. Like that, the mouse tank has the most health out of any vehicle in the game. And honestly, the F-14 annihilated it. So anyways, time to head out in the A-10. We're going to try and take out the same guy in the mouse tank, but this time with the A-10. And the one thing I'm interested to see is how easy is it to hit the bombs? Because I know the bombs do pretty okay damage. Not insane, but they're all right. In fact, the best way I found is just kind of to get insanely high. Like I'm talking like max height, like 1500, and then just go low speed, straight down, and then just, well... That's how you maintain accuracy. So I'm going to try that on this guy in the mouse tank. Let me just say, all right. So that was, that was interesting. I literally said start and got absolutely annihilated. So I'm going to head back into the A10, give it one more chance. I think that's my fault. So we got this dude going to drop my bombs right there. Hopefully we get a good hit. Looks like we had a decent hit. Main issue is that this guy moved just a tiny bit. Also, we moved a tiny bit while we're dropping the bombs because you can't drop them all at once. Although it seems like he's not moved. It would be nice to have lock-on missiles because then I could just lock on from far away, shoot him, and then vanish. So overall, the A-10 is pretty good. But honestly, the lock-on missiles do help a lot in the F-14, which is why I'm going to have to give the air-to-ground point to the f14 anyways that's going to be it for today's video the f14 got three points and the a10 warthog got one point honestly pretty big win for the f14 but i mean you can't deny that the a10 warthog is the coolest looking plane in the game but anyways comment down below what your favorite plane in war tycoon is and make sure to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video goodbye